Hello, this is Paul from QuickenMobile.com and we are doing a buyer's guide video today. We have a lot of questions about the Electra 7 that you can see, the Falcon, the Eagle, the Evaluation Evolution, and the Phoenix. So in this video, we're going to do some very basic comparisons. I'm going to point out some primary differences. Great opportunity to actually pause the video to learn where to find us online, quickandmobile.com. We have a lot of information about all of the chairs that we feature in our website. So let's go ahead and just get right to it. Let's take a look at some of the chairs here. I'll stick this here for now. We'll start with the Electra 7. So this chair is an HD chair. It holds up to 400 pounds. You've got about uh, seven and a half by one and three quarter inch wheels approximately in the front, solid polyurethane, a little bit over 12 inches in the back or right around 12 inches in the back, solid polyurethane, no air in the tires. And let's go ahead and unfold the chair. Now this chair without the batteries, it weighs right around 50 pounds, approximately 50 pounds, give or take a few ounces. And you can see the chair folds Literally in a second, this is an FDA, FAA approved chair. So that does mean you can take it on the airline. And of course it's approved by the FDA. A couple things that we'll point out about the Electra 7 is that it does have two 250 watt motors. We have the DuraShock suspension system in the rear of the chair. And it has a very simple fold design. So very easy to fold. There's a lot of other safety features. I've made quite a few videos about the Electra 7. And this chair, uh, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll probably see a lot of videos and get notifications. I'm going to come back with a couple key measurements for this chair, but let's take a look at the Falcon next. Now the Falcon, you can see that it, it looks very similar from the side to the Electra 7. Both of the chairs, the Falcon and the Electra 7, have the in-frame battery design. In fact, all of the chairs here except one has the in-frame battery design. Same way of unfolding, this is also an FDA registered and approved chair, FAA uh, airline approved chair. We can see that this chair has the ability to go in freewheel also. and. For all intents and purposes, this chair is almost exactly the same as the Electra 7. There's a couple of small differences that I will point out in just a moment. We're going to move on to the Eagle. Now the Eagle, you can see that this is a black chair. These are silver. All of these chairs, with the exception of the Evaluation Evolution, come in silver, blue, black, yellow, pink, and red. So you do have color choices with all of these other chairs. And the Eagle, the footrest, it, it folds up flush to the chair for easy entrance, easy exit. Armrests lift up with this chair, but so do they lift up with the Falcon, and so do they with the Electra 7. Like I said, there is just a couple of very small key differences that I'm going to go over in just a few moments. You can see this chair is in freewheel mode also. And of course it has exactly the same wheels, exactly the same motors as the Electric 7, excuse me. So we'll put the, this one here for now. I'm going to lock this up. I'm going to lock this one up for now. So these chairs are ready to be turned on. And we're going to actually skip this just for a moment. And we're going to go to the Phoenix. Now the Phoenix, Unlike those three chairs, this holds up to 265 pounds. Folds up the same way. You can see in the back that it has kickstand wheels. Some people think of those as anti-tip wheels. They will function to help the chair roll when the chair is actually folded up. They act as a kickstand. This has eight inch rear wheels, two 180 watt motors, and of course, we have the same convenient design. Footrest folds down and the batteries are the simple in-frame batteries. It's an FDA approved chair, FAA travel approved. And this was a model 
brand new in 2022, we have had a very difficult time keeping the Phoenix in stock. So we're going to go over a couple key differences here. I'm going to lock the Phoenix up and then we're going to go to the final chair that we're going to demonstrate the evaluation evolution. So I'm just going to set that chair down. This chair opens a little bit differently. I'm going to power the chair on. I'm going to press the button that will turn it into open mode. It beeps three times and then the chair opens all by itself automatically. This chair also has a remote control that can be used to operate the chair up to 100 feet away from the chair that can be used to fold and unfold the chair. So there's a few differences between this chair. I'll get, I'll get into these and over these, uh, but let's take a look at the similarities between this chair and the other chairs. This chair does have the ability to go into freewheel. This chair does hold up to 400 pounds, just like all of the other chairs here. I know the, the people that are left-handed are wondering the joysticks on the right side, does it go on the left side? For all of them, the answer is yes, it does. And of course we have a lot of features. They all come with seat belts. They all have the adjustable seating harnesses. Every single last one of them do. This one has air filled tires. So this would be a better chair for indoors and not running the risk of going over difficult terrain outside where you might pop a tire. This one has DuraShocks in the front. It has DuraShocks in the rear. And it has what I've referred to before for those of you who are subscribed to my videos, the backbreaker battery design. It has a 12 AH airline approved battery. So you can take this chair on the airline. And people may notice in, in the videos if you've been a subscriber or watched my videos. I am not a fan of the backbreaker battery design simply because you have to get behind the chair to really deal with the battery taking it in and out. The reason that we have this chair, so many people have been asking for a chair that does two things, both folds and folds automatically and is a remote control chair. So for some people that feature is more important than having in-frame battery designs. So let's take a look at the Eagle, the Falcon, and the Electra 7. We're gonna keep things very simple. The first two chairs that we're gonna compare are the Eagle and the Falcon. The Eagle was the very first of its kind, the very first of this particular design. And the Eagle, if we take a look in between the armrests, it has approximately 18 and a half inches of space in between the armrests. And if we take a look at the Falcon over here, it's exactly the same, exactly the same. So these two chairs in every single way are a carbon copy of one another. We're going to take a look at the width of the actual seat cushion. It's approximately 18 inches. And some people want to know the actual distance, top of the seat to the ground. Looks like approximately, what, 19 and a half inches there. So that's, it's a carbon copy for both the chairs. There's one difference between the two chairs and that's it. I'm putting this into freewheel and the Falcon reclines, okay? The Eagle doesn't. Falcon reclines, Eagle doesn't. This might be about three, four ounces more weight than the Eagle, but let's take a look at the back of both chairs here. And you can see that that's, you've got the Eagle, you've got the Falcon. The Falcon has an, an uh, ergonomic reclining mechanism. All the chairs are ergonomically built or an infinity recliner. So you don't see preset notches or anything like that. All these chairs here are built with uh, aircraft grade aluminum. And these are carbon copies of each other. Let's take a look at this kind of from the side. I'll put the Eagle in front of the Falcon side by side and you can see that the eagle is upright the falcons upright so we kind of see that they're they're just the same now if we recline the falcon the whole way you can see the the difference there so that that's it now the armrests lift on this chair when the chair actually reclines so you can see that that's actually an ergonomic design 
Um, people really like that. And all of these chairs with the exception, well, all the, these three chairs right here. So I'm gonna state it correctly. The Falcon, the Eagle, the Electra 7, they all have the ability, all three of them have the ability to extend the space in between the armrests by three and a half inches with an armrest spacer kit. They all have the ability to have a leg extension kit. They all have the ability to attach a headrest. They all have the ability to attach an attendant controller bracket, which is a bracket that sits on the back of the chair, allowing the actual controller to be used by an attendant. So let's take a look at the Electra 7. How is this different? Because we know that with the Eagle and the Falcon, there's only one difference between the two. Falcon reclines, Eagle doesn't. A couple differences here. The Electra 7, it does not recline, okay? Not a recliner, but the Electra 7 has in between the armrests from the factory, approximately 20 inches of space. So this can go to 23 and a half inches, approximately 24 inches of space with the actual armrest spacer kit and the actual cushion here, cushion itself is almost 20 inches wide. Other than that, th this is the exact same measurements as the Eagle. There, there's no difference except more space in between the armrest. So my question would be, and a lot of popular questions, why, why would I spend probably a few hundred dollars more on an Electra 7 than the Eagle. Basically people who need to have a chair that's approximately 24 inches of space in between the armrest, that's who would get the Electra 7. People that need up to about maybe 22 inches of space in between the armrests, that's who would get the Eagle. So they're both great and people who need up to 22 inches of space in between the armrests and mostly would either need a headrest or want a headrest or a leg extension kit, those are gonna be the people that get the Falcon because the Falcon does recline. So those are the easiest ways to explain the differences between these chairs. Now, with, with this particular chair, the Evaluation Evolution, this has actually a lower price point by a, a few hundred dollars than the Eagle. So it, it could be considered to be more of an economy chair. Um, that's not necessarily the reason that somebody would buy it necessarily. It can help. I mean, the armrests lift up. You get a series of complimentary accessories. But let's take a look at the time of this video, and this is the day before Halloween 2022. So happy Halloween and God bless America. We um, don't have the ability to put a leg extension kit on this chair. And the headrest does not fit as well on this chair as it does the other chairs. We do not have the ability to use an attendant controller bracket with this chair. So the main reason that somebody would purchase this chair over other chairs is that they would want to use the actual remote controller as their attendant controller bracket. So the remote control, you can use that with your hand. So you can see that this chair up to 100 feet away, I can go ahead and operate that chair that that's really neat for a lot of people that's why a lot of people would want this chair and i can even when i'm ready to with just the actual handheld attendant uh, attendant controller or remote control i can go ahead and fold the chair up and i can unfold the chair so we're folding it i'll talk a little bit more when it's folded okay it's folded this chair weighs 53 pounds without the battery, about 59 pounds with the battery. These chairs, all three of them, they weigh approximately 50 pounds without the batteries and approximately 58 pounds with the batteries. You've got kickstand wheels on the front and the back of this chair. So this chair rolls with the kickstand wheels. And we have done a few videos about the Vulcan lift and we have the welterweight lift as well. Great options for, for people to get these in and out of the car. And a lot of this, a lot of these chairs, you have a caregiver's perspective as well. So this, for example, I would be probably classified as more of a caregiver. It's, it's simple for me to lift and it's simple for me to, to maneuver and move around. 
Now, if I'm using the chair, maybe a Vulcan lift, maybe a welterweight lift. We have other videos on that. Subscribe to the channel. We go over this. Great opportunities for those. Now, the Phoenix, at the time of this video right now, we do not have a leg extension kit for the Phoenix, but it does work with the headrest, and you can use an attendant controller bracket. Casters are set up for a leg extension kit, but the leg extension kits that work with the HD chairs run into the battery, and that's an issue. Now, if we take a look at the Phoenix, just a couple things that we'll go over, some key measurements. Space in between the armrests, you've got 19 and a half inches of space, and you can use the spacer kit with the Phoenix, so it can actually give you a good amount of width in between the armrests approximately 20 inches from the ground with the seat and the charger you can plug the same charger the front of the joystick and into each battery individually with the phoenix the same thing with the electra with the eagle and with the falcon now something that i'll do with all the chairs and the main thing that i the reason that i would do this with this particular chair is because it weighs well the chair weighs uh, 46 pounds without the batteries and with the batteries, it is 50, 50, uh, 54 pounds, 55 pounds with, with both batteries in. So it's a, it's a bit lighter than these other chairs. And this chair for me, if, if you're gonna be using this for indoor people that, and we don't have the Airhawk in this video, people that think about the Airhawk, a lot of the people that think about the Airhawk look at the Phoenix, they see the Phoenix and they decide right away I want the Phoenix because the Phoenix is better suited for me because it has the same design as the HD chairs. The armrests lift up. Now this is unique with the Phoenix. This armrest goes totally behind the chair. Both of these go totally behind the chair. And then if we look actually in the back of the chair, it's a very quick, easy folding mechanism right here. So one bar basically lets the chair kind of unfold. And you can see that this chair You've got a kickstand wheel, and then you've got the other wheel. And if I put this chair into freewheel mode right here with those locks, you can see I can just push the chair very easily as it is, and the chair is very easy to unfold. So all of these chairs, I'm going to do a strength test, and then we're going to close the video. So we'll open this chair up again while we're doing the strength test here on the other chairs. And I want to keep in mind every single one of these chairs here, that it's FDA approved, FAA travel approved. I am about six feet tall. I weigh close to 220 at the time of this video. This one holds up to 265 pounds. Look at that. I don't have any problem. I'm not even, I'm just balancing totally on the armrests. It's a durable chair. Same thing here. Let's take a look at this one. This is a durable chair. I'm balancing totally on the armrests of the chair. Can you get in and out of it without a problem? Yes, you can. Gonna get a bit of a workout today doing this. We've got the Falcon. Look at that. Totally balancing on the armrests. I'm gonna do the same thing with the Eagle. I might not even need to go to the gym tomorrow after doing all this. Look at that right here balancing. And of course, the Electra 7. I would certainly hope we could do it on this one, and we sure can. Okay, so that creates a little bit of a buyer's guide here. Just real quick, Falcon and the Eagle are just exactly alike. Falcon reclines, Eagle doesn't. The Electra 7 has a little bit more width. Phoenix holds up to 265 pounds, spectacular chair for indoors. In the Evolution Evaluation, this chair is a spectacular chair, automatically folding and unfolding. Any questions about these? All of those chairs can be seen on quickandmobile.com or you can give us a call. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.